Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We are off to dressage lesson, so stick around. lessons. It's just going to be Kate today riding because Julia's just really tired and it's been a long week at school for her so she's not feeling great so we're just going to do Kate today and so we have Duke with us because Duke usually does really good when he goes off property by himself. When he's going with a buddy is when he tends to act up so we're going to see if lessons go well today. So we're not sure over the next couple of months how lessons are going to go for dressage because of some really exciting news and that is that our coach actually has the chance to go to the Olympics. She's in the running and so what that means is that over the next several months she would need to be in the states. It might work out to have lessons and it might not but if it doesn't it's for a really amazing opportunity and we're so excited for her and to watch that so we'll see but if things fall through with her then we still have our other coaches that we would do some dressage riding with so either way the girls will still be in dressage so we're trying to head to lessons here but Duke keeps unhooking his chest bar this is the second time we've had to stop so Kate just wants to switch the trailer ties see if that makes a difference. All right, so we have Duke back secure in the trailer and we are almost at lesson, so we'll see you there. Before we get into the video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell to select all so you don't miss any of our videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends and family about us too. It's the only way we can grow and that YouTube knows you're enjoying our videos. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well for extra content and behind the scenes footage. Let's get into the video. Take a while to brush him today. Why? He's quite gross. He rolled in mud. Lots of it. He's got he's got mud all up his eye, like all up by his eyes. Oh, oh Julia. I'm tired. I know. I'm babe. sore. <laughs> the whole week we've had to go run around our school. Kate just got all these bot play eggs off like two days ago. And they're all back on. Yeah, like look, look at his legs. Oh, the other one's worse. I don't even know thing. if it shows in here. Yeah, that's disgusting. Like I got them all off. They were all off. He's had so many bot flies around him. We're putting the spray on it and stuff, but bot flies don't they don't care. Off. Well bot flies don't land on them, so they don't do anything. Yeah. Like they hover and like... There's been so many around this year. Don't do it with your fingers. Does anyone have any tips or tricks for keeping bot flies away? Because it's been so bad this year and it's not normally, but this year has been especially worse. Yeah, Duke has the worst time with them. We know how to get rid of them once they're on there. Like we do that regularly, but with the scraping, scraping them off. It's just, we're thinking more preventative. Does anyone have any tips for that? I have one of the little like stones that actually work at home that one just doesn't work. Actually, summer course. Yeah. 
much calmer right now just coming along. So Duke's being so nice and calm right now. It's such a difference when he doesn't come with another <coughs> horse. Oh, Knock, <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> This is what he's like at home. He's just chill and loves riding with Kate. So they're just gonna do a nice long warm up with him, get his brain thinking. So there's three huge doors open here. There's a road outside, there's paddocks outside, so there's lots for him to get distracted with. And so Kate's just practicing keeping contact with him. I think the last time he was here was back in May. He's doing so nicely. She wants her to just stay off the track for a minute just to make sure that he's keeping contact when she halts. She's just demonstrating sponging a bit. I think she's showing Kate how to get him into frame, but I could be wrong. Just having her adjust her right rein and her right shoulder. She says you're more massaging his jaw.
Look at him. her how to be very light on the bed and you're just doing very slight movements and then using your shoulders and your hands and your legs I believe. Kate will correct me on this later but I think that's what she's saying in that then So she just said he's entitled to be curious, but he is now going to be a partner once Kate gets this figured out. And he's entitled to be curious, but then he can come back to his partner and ride it properly. She said basically everything Kate's just been doing, she just threw away when he went into the canter. <laughs> so I think she says Duke pushes against the right leg and he doesn't listen to the right leg. I think that's what she had said. But she says, like, all this beautiful work Kate's been doing this whole lesson, as soon as she goes into the canter, she <laughs> forgets it all, and he goes right back. So she says, get yourself collected again, and do doing what he needs to be doing, and then do the canter again. She says, she never does long bursts of canter, just, it might even be half a circle. Oh, she forgot to take her ring off and it's stabbing her. Super 
You never want to be pulling on the reeds in the bit. She's like, it should always be a movable piece. So you're always lightly touching the reins back and forth, back and forth, and you're communicating with your horse that way. She says, sometimes it can be confusing because some coaches really want you to pull on the reins. And she says, even at the beginner level, it's not acceptable because all that's going to happen is you're going to build up a ton of biceps, but you're not communicating with your horse properly. She says when you're light on the reins and you're moving the bit, you're going to get more trust from your horse because they're not anticipating you pulling on their mouth. They're, they're understanding more what it is that you're wanting them to do. She's really good at just tweaking these simple things that the girls can change in what they're doing and it makes the world of difference in their riding. Such a simple lesson but such an impactful lesson today. A really great lesson. I find every day when we're leaving a dressage lesson we're always saying like, wow, that was a really great lesson. Like, the girls are always taking something away from each lesson to improve their writing. I find dressage has been so helpful for them.